ignored. So naturally, I called Carly, my best friend since always, to see if she wanted to come to the mall with me. But Carly had some church thing to go to, choir practice or something, so she couldn't come. So then I called Nikki, Pete, and John, my really good friends from school, to see if they wanted to come with me. Can you believe it? They had some church thing to go to too? Well, it was just caroling to shut in. And I guess they did invite me, so I have to give them some credit. I've been to their church and all before. I guess I just don't feel like I fit in. So then I went to the mall by myself. I did a little bit of shopping. Guess what? I got some ice cream at the food court. So good. And then I got to watch the little cute puppies in the pet store window. My favorite. And then I got bored again. So I headed home. And that's where the night got kind of weird. You see, when I was in the mall, it started to rain, and then the temperature started to drop really, 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 really fast. And that's what caused the accident. The accident that would change my life forever. The accident that taught me about icy streets, about real friendship, and especially about the true meaning of Christmas. It all happened that night, the night that I spent Christmas in the emergency room. Well, 
The guys, 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 I got an idea. Watch this. You must be Google. But quite frankly, you're everything I'm searching for. I mean, the nurse. I really hope you know CPR because you leave me breathless. I mean, you must get this time and time again. But nurse, if you were a booger, I'd be the first. I mean. Just look at your hair. It's just so <coughs> nice. Uh, anyways, my friends and I have such a long time, and well, it is Christmas after all. So I wrote you a little poem, and it goes a little something like this: Ghosts are red, violets are blue, Jenny is our friend. <coughs> so. Could you please let us through? <laughs> Here, I want to go with you. Okay. 
Ja, das ist gut.
like your, your liver is or spleen or something. Oh, thank you so much, Pete. You really saved my life. <laughs> no problem. Uh, by the way, guys, I got some blankets. Sweet.
Well, there they were, my friends, willing to spend an entire night in the waiting room of a hospital, all because they were worried about me. When I found out what they had done, man, was I really touched. You see, my friends loved me and cared for me, and they wanted to be there at times when I needed them most. But there's plenty of other times that I needed them before. Times where I wasn't just hurting on the outside, but times when I was hurting on the inside. Neither did 
die. Because Jenny is our friend. We need to see her before it's too late. Yeah. Number 122. Guys, guys, empty out your pockets. Give me anything that's valuable. Why? 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 Why?
x-rays. I was feeling pretty sorry for myself, too, thinking, how could all of this happen to me right here at Christmas time? I even had this great, pitiful attitude going on in everything. You know how it is. But come to think of it, there was this wonders. She must have been in the holiday spirit or something because she was singing the whole time she was taking my temperature. It was that song. Some of you may know it. It goes like, away in the manger, no crib for a bed. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. For some reason, that song got me thinking about the nativity scene I see every year at Carly's house. I remember asking Carly why Jesus was born in a barn. She said it was part of God's awesome plan. And then I remember asking her what was so special about that baby that a whole, whole holiday would revolve around him. She said something about hope and heaven. I never understood. Or maybe I did. Well, maybe I just never understood what all of that had to do with me.
doctor says my vehicle's gotten a lot better. It still hurts a little bit. Actually, it hurts a lot. But just don't tell my parents, okay? But you know what? Anyways, I'm just glad all of it happened, you know? Because I sure learned a lot of things. First things first, I learned about icy streets. They can be dangerous for sure, so beware. Next, I learned about true friendship that night. That real friends care as much about your heart as they do about your health. And lastly, and this right here is the best part. I learned about what Christmas really means. You see, my friends told me that God loved me enough to send me the gift of His Son. They told me about Jesus' sacrifice and that it meant hope for now and heaven for later. And, and most of all, my friends told me what Christ and Jesus means to them. And that's what really, really made the difference for me. I just wanted what they had. Wow! Can you believe it? One slippery spot on the road and one whole life completely turned upside down. But all in all, I'd say this whole thing, this whole night, all of it, it was all a great night. You know why? Because I spent Christmas in the emergency room.
if you were a booger, I would be And, you know, I'm not sure a little more. And it goes a little something. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Jenny is our friend, so could you let us do it?
Thank <laughs> you. 